Okay, in this video we're going to talk about some, some basic ideas, things that you already know. I mean, I'm sure you're pretty familiar with them, but you probably haven't used them in a while, so we're just going to spend a, a few moments going over them. And uh, these include two, two topics. Um, we're going to be looking at um, sup uh, subscripts and superscripts. The subscript is basically a name tag. So think of think of your subscript as basically a, a, a name tag. And you you know it, it, as geologists you're probably used to you know you're familiar with the densities of different minerals and so on, and probably most of you remember the, the density of calcite. Remember we use rho. This is the Greek letter, Greek letter rho, to represent density. And sometimes this is often, you know, turns turns out to look like a P, which is which is okay, as long as you know what the meaning is. And uh, so with the subscript, the subscript is basically, you know, this, this identifier here. And we could just rewrite that with the single letter C, just recognizing that um, C represents calcium. Now, in this case, we we know that the density of calcite is, uh, we should probably say, approximately 2.71 uh, grams per cubic centimeter, right? And, <coughs> excuse me, and, and we could also use, use this perhaps as a uh, density for limestone, which is composed primarily of calcite. Also, for example, you might have quartz. We'll just represent quartz by a Q. And we know that its density is approximately 2.67 grams per cubic centimeter. And we might also, you know, often see sandstone as having an approximate density of 2.67 uh, grams per cubic centimeter. So these, these subscripts are basically name tags. We can use them for any number of different kinds of variables. I, I'm sure you can think of some. Um, we can think for the mass, uh, the mass of the Earth, for example, um, mass of the Moon. Um, so we're we're really just with the subscript and kind of telling you what particular mass we're we're talking about so <clears throat> so it's kind of helpful to keep track of the different variables that we're working with and um, you know the the equations that we're manipulating could be the acceleration due to gravity so uh, the acceleration due to gravity on earth uh, approximately 9.8 meters per second square so again, we're just we're just working with uh, name tags. Okay. Now, with superscripts, we're dealing with 
again another familiar kind of notation we have uh, x uh, x to the a now if a is equal to 2 for example then this is x squared and uh, we know that uh, this exponent really just tells us how many times we multiply x by itself so we know for example that this is equal to x times x times x now if we had x to the a plus uh, b and let's say that uh, a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 2 and we have x to the 3 plus 2 is equal to x to the fifth. Okay. But we could also say um, this is equal to x cubed times x squared. So, and these are equivalent. So. And we can easily see that because x, um, x cubed and x squared are just um, x times x times x. And then over here we have x times x. And this is just x to the fifth. In other words, x is multiplied by itself five times. And um, so that should be pretty easy to hopefully to to refresh your memory on, on some of those rules. So just thinking in terms of um, one other relationship that you probably remember and that is that if we have x to the a divided by x to the b this is going to be equal to x to the a minus b. Again, if a is equal to 3 and uh, b is equal to, to 2, then this gives us uh, x cubed over x squared is equal to x to the 3 minus 2 is equal to x. We can also see um, Basically, that what we're dealing with here is x times x times x all over x times x. And we can see that these x's are going to cancel out. And we'll just be left with x again. So, <coughs> some basic some basic rules in notation, uh, superscripts, subscripts, uh, things that you're familiar with. Um, we'll be using them quite a bit in, in class and, um, and so you'll want to familiarize yourself with that notation and not get confused by it.